Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. We are live in Studio B. It is game night for BYU softball. They take on number two Oklahoma as they open up a critical Big 12 series. And to help us preview that matchup, we bring in one of the stars for the Cougars. Hunter Ava is with us on BYU Sports Nation, joining us from Oklahoma. Hunter, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, we need to start with the most prominent thing uh, on the agenda here, and that is Grand Slams for BYU softball, which you have been very heavily involved in. Seven on the season. What in the world is going on when the bases are loaded for BYU softball? Man, I don't even know. I guess it just varies from, like, each player, but I, I honestly would like to give credit to our hitting coach that we got, like, we got this year, Ken. Ken Briggs, he actually, like, instilled a lot of confidence with in the batter box for us as hitters and stuff, like giving us plans and whatnot. I love the swagger that you take when you I, cross I, home plate. I, I, I was just going to say, Hunter, can we take a little bit of that drip, that <laughs> little bit of that swagger that you have and just spread it across all of BYU sports, right? I mean, you're rowing the boat on second base, okay? You're doing a little, I, I don't know what that was at home plate, but you got a little sauce to you, which I love, okay? Where, where does that come from? I don't know. Honestly, that home run celebration, I just started it this year, and it was just like in a moment kind of thing. And <laughs> say hi, Lona, you're on BYU Sports Nation. <laughs> but um, honestly, that was just like kind of like a spur in the moment kind of celebration for me. But that swagger, though, that confidence that you have, was that always in you, or was that something that, that, that just developed over time? Um, Most definitely developed over time from high school then on. Um, training with like the coaches I've had and like the the past and stuff, they really like helped a lot. All right, we just watched uh, the Grand Slam you had in dramatic fashion against Houston in that wild 17-15 game. That was absolutely nuts. I was watching when I was in Dallas uh, and enjoying every moment of that. But like when you hit that ball, did you immediately know game's over? Um, I. Honestly, I didn't think it was going over. I thought I hit it hard enough for it to be a line drive to at least score, like, at least tie up the game because we I knew who we had on the bags. Like, we, I knew I had Violet. Um, no, not Violet. It was Tristan Trillington at second and Taryn Lennon. So they were pretty, like, fast. So I knew if I were just to hit the gap, like, we were going to tie it, and then the person behind me was going to win it for us. Yeah. But when it went over the fence, I honestly was just like, no way. That did not just <laughs> <laughs> Well, and to set the stage properly, for those who don't know, you had just given up two runs to Houston in the top of the ninth. You're already deep into extra innings. Softball games only go to seven, typically. You're in the ninth. You're down 15-13. Yeah. And then you clear the bases to win 17-15. So with all that considered, is that your favorite home run of your BYU career? If not, what is your favorite home run? I honestly would say that one is my favorite. It takes the cake for it all. It's I honestly just can't even believe that actually happened to me. I'm just in shock. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I'm sure there's going to be more to come because I, I honestly I love watching your fire. I love watching the the level of confidence that you bring. I'm sure it's infectious to the entire dugout. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I look forward to watching you all season. Playing last year, being the first year in the Big 12, Hunter, Playing last year in the WCC, what's the biggest difference so far that you've noticed? I would say the competitive level is most definitely, like, different. Like, Big 12, you pretty much always have to fight for every pitch. Like, in the WCC, like, not trying to discredit them, but I feel like you're, it's just a dogfight every time we get, like, step a field when it's Big 12 and everything like that. I just feel like our competitive, our competitiveness and our drive would just have, have to be in, um, in the Big 12 more so than the WCC. Hunter, you have seen the elite of elite pitching this season between the series with Texas, and that was on the road in Austin, and then you hosted number four Oklahoma State for three and saw super high-level pitchers. So how much of a difference will it be when Oklahoma takes the mound tonight? Is it anything that BYU and you have not seen this season? Um, no, because honestly, in the Big 12, OSU, Oklahoma State, they actually lead within the pitching staff for um, the Big 12 conference, which I feel like would help us have more confidence within the box, knowing that we already face the best pitching staff within the Big 12. 
Does that does that give you? I imagine that gives you guys a certain amount of confidence going into this next game, right? I mean, uh, of the games that you've already played against Texas, beating Oklahoma State, uh, playing these teams, how does it prepare prepare you and the squad to play for somebody like Oklahoma? It most definitely um, kind of puts a reality check on us knowing how we need to prepare, how we need to mentally stay ready within the game, knowing that like any given chance, like any given second within like playing like Oklahoma, like one swing can change the whole entire game, which pretty much is why it was nice playing like Texas and Oklahoma State because they showed us that one swing can change the game. And I feel like now that we have that out of the way, it wouldn't be as much of like an effect as if we were to play them first out of everybody else. Hunter Ava is with us on BYU Sports Nation. What type of mentality do you need to have as a high-level softball player when there are so many games and there are natural highs and lows? I mean, you're, you're coming off a tough series in Orlando and then you just lost to Utah Valley, but you got to show up and you got to be ready to play your best softball again against number two Oklahoma. So what goes into that mental process for you as you reset again? You most definitely have to have a short-term memory if you're a softball player, given the situation that we have so many games within the season. I feel like even no matter who you play, you just have to forget. Like, like UCF, that weekend's over. UVU, that day's over. Now it's on to Oklahoma. Like, you just have to prepare for the now moments instead of, like, thinking and rethinking about what could have been done, like, better and what if we did this. And that just – it just ruins your mentality a lot. Like, it would just put more – negative aspects in your mind more so than positive and focusing on the now moments. Okay, so with, with that being said, Hunter, in 2010, I was in the NFL. I got a chance to go be in the dugout or, sorry, be in the locker room or the clubhouse of the Colorado Rockies prior to playing in a, a game the, the, the following day uh, on Sunday. It was a Saturday day game. What amazed me was just the difference in the manner of preparation of baseball players compared to football players, right? You go into a football locker room, it is like you can hear a pin drop, right? Everybody is just on edge. You're mentally in it. Everyone's got their headphones on. There's not a lot of talking. Everyone goes through their own process or pregame rituals, whatever, you know, getting taped, you know, getting in the hot tub, et cetera. Then I go into the Rockies clubhouse, man, and it is like party. It is a party <laughs> right before the first pitch. I mean, some guys are just coming out, to, you know, they're trailing out as the first pitch is being thrown. And I tell the guys, I, I, it was Tulowitzki that I asked. He was a, a shortstop for the Rockies at that time. I'm like, why is this so different? How are you guys getting like ready to play? He's like, dude, we play a hundred and something games. We can't always just be dialed in or else we're going to be exhausted. So with that being said, do you find – like, what, what is your pregame routine, and do you find it to have to be, like, a little bit more relaxed just given the schedule of the year or, the, or of the season? Uh, yeah, I most definitely would have to agree with that Colorado Rocky guy because, I don't know, uh, given your personality, given mine, like, speaking off of, like, my own personality, like, it's very, like, easygoing. I, if you get too tense within this game, it will eat you up for sure, so – Staying loose, staying however you need to be into like to stay in green. It's most definitely the kind of way you want to go within like approaching every softball game or every baseball game. Hey, we hope you're showing off that swagger and rowing the boat a bunch Dude, tonight, row Hunter. That boat, sister. <laughs> Give you some BYU Sports thanks Nation guys. karma for the Oklahoma series, and uh, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. You got it. The Absolutely. Queen of Diamonds, Hunter Ava on BYU Sports Nation.